50 years ago this summer, you could buy a loaf of bread for 25 cents and a Ford Pinto for just over $1,900. If you were a high school football player, you were getting ready for the season, probably during two-a-day practices. And if you were a member of the Henrico Warriors, you were getting set to make school history. I mean, you played a pivotal role. We didn't do what they do today. We hit each other. It was a challenge every single practice. The games were really, that was the easy part. <laughs> to be an athlete on Friday night, it was the you know, only show in town. Yours may not show the same wear and tear. Kickoff team, and that was it. But the cover of this high school yearbook is ready to come off. This is a collection of clippings and photos from the 1970 Henrico High School football team. That's me. The first in school history to win a regional championship. We had a special bond, I think, at that time with all of us playing together for such a long period of time. The core of that team has played together since the eighth grade. I still got his helmet well, marked in the back. <laughs> yeah. The year before, they were just four, five, and one. But something told them their senior year had a chance to be different. It was just a great combination of smarts to gather up that offense and tough linemen up front on both sides of the ball that just made it a a beautiful combination. We knew when things got tough, we knew how to pull it together, lean on one another, one step it up, make a play, and that would bring us all even tighter together. The 1970 team allowed their opponents to score just 37 points in 11 games, and the defense had six shutouts. They finished their season 10 and 1. Don't make a don't say Don't bring a say it. Well, don't, don't, make a, don't, don't make Freeman a say it. In the, <laughs> Freeman, Freeman in the <laughs> mud right. bowl. And there are conspiracy theories about that one loss. I feel it was pretty dry. That was weird wet over there. Everybody wanted to get us on a muddy field all, because you know, of the speed so we had. All. It hadn't rained in three days, and there was water glistening on the grass. But don't bring that up. We won't say anything. We, we, we could have swam up and That's down the truth. field. That's the truth. <laughs> But they swear they didn't water the field. They finished with a regional final win over Thomas Dale. We liked the way the streets were after we won. Mm -hmm. But that wasn't the only first in school history for that year's team. I'm sitting next to one of the smartest guys I've ever seen play the game. Chris Turner was the quarterback of that year's squad. I was just a kid out there having fun. <laughs> um, so all the other significance kind of hit later, later on uh, throughout the years. He and his brother Ben were among the first African Americans to play for Henrico. That's Chris, hey, uh, that's me. Uh, off, hey. And Chris was the first African-American to play quarterback. Wasn't afraid of anybody, wasn't afraid of anything, wasn't afraid of any challenge. What was groundbreaking and might receive a myriad of attention today barely got noticed back in 1970. We didn't think anything about it. And was never an issue in the Henrico locker room. Chris was the captain of, of, of the team. And we voted and him. we captain. voted in that, yeah. you know, because of the, of the type of individual that he was. Chris and Ben were I mean, Holly thought about it in the school itself. Chris was senior class president, his brother was a junior class president, and never was an issue back then. That's not to say Turner didn't have his issues and challenges. He remembers one incident where students were saying some very negative and derogatory things until they saw Turner standing behind them. They started apologizing, everybody was apologizing. And I don't know where this came from, but all I said was, you should never apologize for saying something that you mean. And I turned around and walked away. Turner believes that reaction, plus his play on the field, were the major factors in his acceptance. <laughs> and their friendships are just as strong 50 years later. It was a time that you just took people for what they were. And that's what was beautiful about it. These guys changed my life. It's just that simple. Everything I remember about teamwork and all was developed here. The 1970 Warriors were scheduled to be honored at a game this fall before everything was canceled. They are planning a full reunion once large gatherings are again permitted. If you'd like to nominate someone to be profiled, just email us at beyondtheroster at wtvr.com. The news at 11 is coming right back.